So this will be the grill, you see? It's um, all straightened up on top. So it won't have that wave on top. And it won't have that little entrance at the bottom, you see? It will be all straightened up, you see? I think it will give more like a truck vibe on it, you know? It will be quite cool. Put it up. Fire away. So it's quite noisy, as you can see. It's a real... This is a real Jeep, you know? They just don't make it like this anymore. Really cool. Get the license plate cover. Cover for the license plate so that I can feel more with more liberty, you know. So we're gonna do a little review on the Mesa. Gonna do a start up first. And the reason why I'm doing all these reviews on these cars is because uh, this is all the cars we're gonna be using daily. Um during our channel and of course uh, with time we'll change some cars we'll get other stuff we'll we don't know quite we aren't sh quite sure what we're going to do still but we'll just let time decide um but things will be different we will be changing things um i can't guarantee i'll always have the same cars so we'll see what goes on. If you guys really like to see the content of these cars, we'll just keep them. It's all up to you guys. Okay, so you can fire it up. One, two, three, go. Today we have the RX-8, the Mazda RX-8. It is a beautiful car. It's getting more beautiful with age. It's going to walk around first. I actually forgot to say in the other two previous cars, a little bit of extras that they have. But uh, I'll keep it for next video. Mysterious. <laughs> Big new exhaust on them. I have to get a license plate cover so I can film freely the whole car. Forgive me for that, guys. It's not that I don't want to show the license plates. It's just for privacy reason, you know. Hope you guys can understand. Forgive me for that. This bonnet is really beautiful. It's got like this little lump, negative lump going around here. It's pretty cool because when it rains, you can see the little drops just stay here. Even on the highway, it's amazing. They don't even move. So it just gives like, I don't know. We just fell in love with this car. For what it is, you know. Not for what it's worth, for what it is. I want to put a metallic triangle there, rotary triangle. Still haven't got it. So that's something I'm going to add on the videos then. It's like I said, I'm going to keep some stuff for the for future videos. So this car has what they call the suicidal doors. There's nothing suicidal about it, but... <laughs> Pretty cool. It's not every car you can do that, eh? That's the truth. Two very comfortable back seats, no matter what people say. If you buy this car, any adults will fit in here. Unless you're very tall, of course. But, um... I'm a short adult, so. <laughs> but all the adults that I put at the back, they're perfectly fine, okay? I'll say until 1 meter 80, one, between 180, 190. I'll go for 180, okay? They're good. Meters high, okay? The person. And then we got the front seats here. Very beautiful. These are the the mats that I want to put on the Citroen Saxo in front. I got them at the back in the Saxo, but I haven't got them in front, which I have still put them. It's got Bose system. Nothing on this car is broken, except the radio, and that was my fault, so I had to get another radio uh, to switch it on. So, again, once again, the Bluetooth, okay, like always. <laughs> Very good product. Um, 
we got the door lights here that give a Mazda logo, which you can't see now. But if you go see one of the the one of the first shorts videos that are on the channel, have the video of this. Okay, me installing it and all. The handbrake, very cool, drift mode handbrake, like a drift style. Um, I have the original gear knob once again, but I changed for this one because it's so much comfortable than the other one. Um, I prefer this one than the original one. So if you guys want to get knob for the RX-8, go for this one from Munchen. Actually bought it on AliExpress, carbon fiber inside with the varnish finishing, very beautiful and extremely comfortable and uh, really helps the performance. Uh, short gear shift already. The car already has a short gear shift just like the Honda Civic uh, That we got the Saxo I had to boot a short gear shift on it, but I'll talk about that later. Now. It's just about our exit We have aircon um, On this car We can put up to six CDs Okay I'm not, I was going to change this radio for a modern tablet, but then I decided, no. Let's just keep things original in this car. And uh, we've got the glove compartment as well. Which can fit a few things. It's not very big, but it's, it's already sufficient for what we use it for. The little air vents. This, this is a more modern car. Then the Saxo and the UMM, the 4x4. So we're starting to step up. That's why I chose the the more simple ones first. And now this one here. The seats are extremely comfortable. I love these seats. I never, I did try, forgive me, I did try the leather seats. On an RX-8 that I went to see to buy because it was in a bit of a bad condition. I was going to buy it to restore it as well. Because I really enjoy riding this car. Wouldn't mind having another one. Um, and the leather seats are also comfortable, but I find these a bit more comfortable than the leather seats because they're softer. That's the only reason. Um, but both of them are, are good. So, what do we have here at the back? We have a back glove compartment, we have a cup holder, okay? Which, because I'm always using different cars, I'm trying to remember how it opens up. and little piece of dirt right there so there you go so everything is working so when I when we bought this car um, I went to go check it out and uh, I bought it immediately because I thought it was in really good condition so I'll tell you guys the only things we had to do in this car um, besides the radio which is was my fault because um, I did something I shouldn't have but uh, I got uh, another radio, which actually came with the upgraded trimming here. So it's, it's a good thing that that happened. You see, bad things happen sometimes for a reason. So otherwise than that, we changed. I'll show you guys. I have to open up the bonnet. Let's just go to it. No more delay. The trunk opens here, you leave it open, and now the bonnet. We also got leveling lights, okay, um, brightness for the interior, uh, traction mode off, and airbags. So I'll show you the dashboard in a minute. This is all to control the windows. The side windows open just like the Saxo with a little lever right there okay I'll show you guys just like this as you can see mirrors are also electric only on adjusting the angle but not to close and open And voila, what a beautiful engine compartment, it really is. So, 
that's why I say uh, when you choose a car, choose something that you really like. Because you, you're going to appreciate it always. And uh, you're just going to give it so much love, you know. So even if it's a very cheap car, it doesn't matter. You go with something that you enjoy. And if you really treat it well, uh, bond with it, then you'll just um, have a good relationship with it. And you'll always take care of it. And you won't have much problems. I don't have much problems with my cars because I'm always on top of the problem, you know. So, take good care of what you got. And it will last for a long time. Um, although sometimes there are defaults from factory. And that's another story. So, it's no, not even use getting into that. But um, that's why, before you choose a car, make sure you like the car. And if you like a car, make sure that it's doing a good choice, you know. There are a lot of excellent reviews on the internet and YouTube to just explain everything. So um, everything looks clean. We've got a KN filter, like always. Have to have a performance filter. Um, just open up here. And you can't really see much because it's a virtual engine, so everything is really covered. Normally you see the exhaust pipes coming out here. Yeah. <laughs> so the head exhaust um, is a performance head exhaust. Okay, that's what the change we did. The whole exhaust is also a performance exhaust. Okay, from the header uh, to the muffler. Okay, so that's one of the changes we did. Uh, we got um, better spark plugs. The performance air filter and uh, that's about it so we didn't have to do a lot of changes this car really comes with the outstanding performance uh, i can't show you guys the head exhaust or can i try and see if i can see it from here maybe from the bottom i'll be able to see it let's see uh, no because it's going to be a cover so it's a no-go <laughs> it's right down there okay <laughs> so you guys can see once i got it lifted up but i think i do have a short video where i show the whole exhaust yes i do so you guys can go see the uh, previous short video which shows the exhaust okay um with the bullstein shocks so this also had the bullstein shocks okay we put on this one the b six Bolstein shocks on this car in front and at the back okay or at the rear <laughs> and um, otherwise I didn't have to do nothing else uh, change already the brake pads since I got it tires as well um, I always use all season tires on all my cars um, unless like I buy a car and it's all good but where there's traction I always boot all season and eventually always boot on the four tires I just find it so much safe and secure and better performance so basically now we're gonna go to the trunk and uh, I've done the rev up for you guys the start up sorry not the rev up the revving is we also get to it and uh, I still have <laughs> the parts of the, I don't even know, I still have this in the trunk. Um, you see, the head exhaust uh, gaskets. Uh, this is uh, an extra, okay. So I always like to have extras of these because the mechanic was changing the other parts of the exhaust and I didn't know if he had to touch the head exhaust. So uh, this actually went to mechanic and these are all spare parts, see. So, yes got a toolbox with everything I need always radiator water with the RX-8 although I almost never have to add oil as well because I don't really daily drive it so but it's really in great shape so now we just have to do I also got this always liners in the trunk to keep it safe from any spillage or you're doing shoppings and everything, you know. So this car we use it more for shopping. See, always got the shopping bags in the cars. So we always have this mattress plus an extra rubber mattress. 
I'm always like I say, I treat them like my little babies. <laughs> I don't have kids, so these are my my little babies. Don't take any of the wrong way, but um, it's just my little passion, you know. Um, of course, if I had kids, kids would be my passion, <laughs> and not the cause as much. Um, but I think um, as a car lover, it will always be it'll always be time and space for a cause, you know, for me. So now I can see here in the lights the exhaust tips. So they already the car needs to be clean. Now good times are coming where it actually feels good and great to just come outside and clean a car. Always got my make <laughs> even with the tire valves I always put the make of the car. Okay. Uh, I didn't show you guys those on the previous videos. Only the C train needs a C train one. And the Jeep 4x4, of course, I'm not going to be able to get it on that one. Uh, that make is very rare. But uh, for that one, I'll, use to, I'll have to just use a simple valve. So I'm waiting for the Citroen ones. So, what do you guys think? I love these little fins that it's got. I love the shape of the wings over here. So, don't have to do much. But everything that I do on the car, I'll show you guys. So, inside here, we got dash panel, which lights up and just shows you everything here. It's got 86,000 kilometers. Um, radio, climate, this more or less, there are a lot of YouTube reviews on this car that show much of this. The beep you can take out, okay, like for example, I, I don't have a beep, I took it out here. To take the beep out, um, you actually go to, ba -ba -ba -da -ba 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 -bum. Always changing cars, and then you never know what to do. There you go, see. So, right here is where you change everything on this button. Okay, beep off, beep on. You see, if I keep it on, now everything that I do will just beep. So, to take this beep out. Just go to there, off, and now it won't beep anymore. See, so what if I do? Won't beep. So that's how you do that. Some videos uh, on the reviews they say the beep is irritating, but it's not, only if you want it to be. The roof liner is excellent. It's not the the one that it's not the 10,000 RPM. Okay, so it's not the 230 horsepower, but with the exhaust and the air filter and everything, uh, it's closely onto that horsepower setting. Okay, and believe me, this car can go. So we got our lights over here. Everything's changed to LED. Gloss, sunglass compartment. Never open this. It's actually maybe the second time I do that. Uh, sun visor with mirrors, a light at the back as well. Everything's changed to LED, like I said. And yes, beautiful car. And even with the windows open, you can just hear that exhaust. I just wish you guys could have heard the Citroen when it was actually just uh, with the proper sound. A beautiful sound guys so it's already hot because I just drove the car here so I can uh, as you can see it's already warmed up just needed now a little bit more so I just let it warm up a little bit more then rev it up for you guys to hear that beautiful sound so while we're waiting for the car to warm up just a little bit more see the location we're filming 1611 that's how all this Celsius and the the date there. Now we're ready in 2024, so 
it's even older. <laughs> Show you guys here the, the inside. Okay, so quite old. I know it looks spooky, <laughs> but uh, it's just because it's old, you know. So just show you guys it's like uh, almost 500 years or more than 500 414 years. 414 413 years so it's quite old very old so still won't say where it is but at least you guys get a glimpse at it so that's just there <laughs> it warmed up i can do some revving Okay, go. How cool is that, guys? Come on, tell me the one. <laughs> Pretty cool, eh? Pretty cool. So I haven't drove it like for like four weeks. So it's normal to just uh, let go a little bit of smoke in the beginning. So we're just gonna take it for a drive, get some more sceneries for the video, and uh, clean up that exhaust. <laughs> One river a bit more. Next to the beach, um, next to this is actually the swamps. Cause this is salt water swamps, um, and taking my hike, second hike today. Um, as you can see, got like some abandoned boats, swamps scenery, <laughs> old crane down there. See, there, uh, right there. So yeah quite cool there's like a coffee shop you can just chill and then after you chill the birds you say I'm just gonna do some exercise and walk you know so um, very relaxing very cool just keep on showing you guys this a bit real swamps right here okay there's another abandoned boat right there can you see it there <laughs> So I'll keep on showing you guys a bit of this. See, you can get your boat on the water right from here. Got these guys just putting the boats in the water. Must be like a limit weight that you can use on this. Don't know what the weight is, but it can't be very heavy that boat. What a ton, yeah, it's already like um, <laughs> shaking. <laughs> Yes, and there you go. More swamp, a lot of uh, more abandoned boats. <laughs> I think they're quite old already. Yeah, very nice. And there they go, all happy. They start up from the Jeep, it's got a warm up, what I like calling the little candles <laughs> right there. Oops, switching things by mistake. Switching on the window wipers. <laughs> so when you before you start up the Jeep, you always gotta do it five times. But because it's already been started up today, it's gonna to do it three times. And how beautiful is that, guys? So cool. 
cool when you have an old car that's um, restored, you know? Make you guys a little bit dizzy over here. <laughs> I got to fix up to change the cable. It's been uh, funny shaking. So just backing up here into the parking place. And it's done. <laughs> just like that. So cool to have these cars. So blessed. I know it's nothing like extraordinary or anything, but it's what I say, you know. What matters is if you like them, that's all that counts. Okay guys, so just like that, we're going to close this video. Hope you guys enjoyed that video. Um, and now we're going to close the video by finally, because it's a great day, getting our first lettuce. Woohoo! Yes, 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 yes. Okay. We're going to choose from one of these beauties right here and we got our bubble machine to celebrate okay so it's going to be excellent experience and it's going to be very tasty very tasty <laughs> Celebration! Yuppie! So we have ourselves a winner guys. Here it is. Our first lettuce. What a beauty is that. Okay. So I hope you guys enjoy the content of this channel. Keep tuned guys. Okay. More and more is upcoming. I just feel like ah, eating it right now. But I can't. I have to wash it first. <laughs> and all this hard work paid off in the end. So, with this, we are out. Hit the button. <laughs>